Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC and moreover, we got this line segment CD as an angle by sector as you can see in this figure and we are going to calculate the value of this line segment CD. We are going to solve this problem by two different methods. The first method is going to be angle bisector theorem and the second method is going to be law of cosines. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution and here's the very first step. We are interested in these length of this AD and the length for this DB. Let me call this AD the length is going to be M then this DB is going to be the total length by the way of AB is 12 so DB is going to be simply 12 minus M and here it is our angle bisector theorem here we have a, this proportion A over B equal to C over D for this triangle that has these side lengths A, B and then C and D. We are going to use this theorem in our this example. In this case we have a A is 10, B is 8 and here C is our M and this D is our 12 minus M. Let's go ahead and apply that theorem. So we are going to have A over B is going to simply become 10 over 8 equals to m divided by 12 minus m. Now let's go ahead and use a cross multiplication method to simplify this one. So that is going to give us 120 minus 10 m equals to 8 m. Let's move this 10 m the right hand side so 120 equals to 8m plus 10m which implies that 18m equals to 120. Let's isolate m by dividing both sides by 18. So that means m is going to be, if we reduce that one, that is going to give us 20 over 3 that is our m value so that means this side ad this segment ad m equals to 20 over 3 and this db is going to be simply 12 minus 20 over 3 and here i have copied down this quantity right over here and i used crisscross method cross multiplication and this simplified into 16 over 3 so that means this db side is going to be 16 divided by 3 and here is our next step we are interested in finding the value of this x we need to calculate this x value and this time we are going to use this theorem x square equals to a times b minus c times d where x is the angle bisector. Let's go ahead and use this uh, theorem to our this given problem. In our case this 10 is our a, this 8 is our b, this value is our c, this 16 over 3 is our value d and this segment CD is our X. So let's go ahead and replace the value in this formula. So this is going to become X square equal to A in our case is 10 times 8 minus 20 divided by 3 times 16 over 3. Let's simplify that one. That is going to give us 80 minus 320 divided by 9 
And if we simplify that thing, that is going to give us 720 minus 320 divided by 9. That is going to give us 400 divided by 9 is equal to x square. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides because we need an x value. So we got x equal to positive or negative 20 over 3. So x is going to become a positive 20 divided by 3. So thus our x value turns out to be 20 divided by 3. And now I'm going to show you the second method and it is called law of cosines. And now in this next step, let's focus on this big triangle ABC. And let me go ahead and call this angle alpha, this angle alpha. And here's our law of cosines A square equal to B square plus C square minus 2 times BC cosine of alpha. And if we use this rule in our example in this case our a is going to be 8 this b is going to be 10 and this c is going to be 12 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this cosines formula so in our case a is 8 so it's going to become 8 square and in our case b is 10 so 10 square plus c is 12 square minus 2 times 10 times 12 cosine of alpha let's simplify 64 equal to 100 plus 144 minus 240 cosine of alpha and let's simplify furthermore that is going to give us 244 minus 240 cosine of alpha let's move cosine of alpha this quantity on the left hand side and 64 on the right hand side so we are going to get 240 cosine of alpha equals to 244 minus 64 so we got 240 cosine of alpha equals to 180 let's divide both side by 240 to isolate cosine of alpha so that means cosine of alpha if we reduce this thing that is going to give us 3 over 4 so cosine of alpha turns out to be 3 divided by 4 and here's our next step let's focus this time on this triangle a d c and here it is the law of cosines once again that we'll be using in this problem again and this time our a is going to be x b is going to be 10 and our c is going to be 20 divided by 3 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this law of cosines formula. In our case, A is x, so this is going to become x square equal to B. In our case, is 10, so 10 square plus C is 20 divided by 3 square minus 2 times 10 times 20 divided by 3 times cosine alpha here we already figured out the value in our previous step i'm going to replace it by 3 divided by 4 let's go ahead and simplify that one so x square equal to 100 plus that is going to become 400 divided by 9 minus that is going to give us see over here this 3 and 3 is gone so this 4 and 25 and that is going to give us negative 100 if we simplify and we can see that this positive and negative 100 they are gone so we ended up simply x square equal to 400 divided by 
9. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So this x turns out to be positive or negative 20 divided by 3. And we know that x must be positive, so I'm going to pick x equal to 20 divided by 3, our x value. So thus our x value turns out to be 20 divided by 3. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.